Hello everyone, Simon here from Super Nerds Gaming and I am back again for another video and this is going to be my retro pickups from JC Trade Emporium. So over the last weekend it was my birthday and uh, with the money that I got for my birthday I went over to JC Trade Emporium which is located in Birkenhead so it's not too far from me and I just got a load of games that I needed for my Mega Drive collection. I say needed, I wanted for my Mega Drive collection. So if you want to check out the video previous to this, which is the updated store tour to JC Trade Emporium, go ahead, check out the wonderful retro goodness that this store has. It is amazing. But for this one, we're going to be seeing my pickups. Uh, I have them here in this Warhammer bag because upstairs in JC, it's a games workshop. So um i've got some mega drive games and i've got one dreamcast game so we'll go with the one dreamcast game first and i like the way you actually put it into another bag because dreamcast cases they're awful so dreamcast game i got is toy commander and i picked that up for 20 pounds absolutely adore this game this is an amazing game it really is um, I remember my mate actually got this from Level Up uh, some years ago. It was on the back shelf and he spotted it and he the, this is one of his favourite games. And I'd never come across it again myself until seeing it in uh, JC and I was like, I need it, I want it. Because um, it's just so good, it really is. Um, it's not much I can say. The multiplayer on it is really good as well, it's four player split screen. Just a great game where you're basically playing with toys in like a big kitchen or something. And you've got missions to do and stuff like that. There was a demo as well for the Christmas one where I think you played Santa in a jetpack. I might have that somewhere. I might have to dig that out and look at it. But looking forward to getting into that. So that was Toy Commander. Right, now I've just got an absolute pile of Meg Drive games here. So we'll dig out the first one. And that is Rolling Thunder 2. Um, I've seen this around uh, quite a few times and I've never, never bothered to pull the trigger on it, should I say? <laughs> you know, because they've got guns and that. No, okay, sorry. Um, so I picked this up for £15, no instructions in it. But um, it's in pretty decent condition. There's like a few marks on the top there, label there. But uh, it's in all right condition. I think the only issue I had is the inside. It doesn't sit very well in there. I think that's like too small for it. Or it might not be the original case. But yeah, um, don't really know much about Rolling Thunder. Um, I always thought it was like a James Bond game. I think I feel like it is. Is it? I don't know. I just could be making that up in my own head. But um, yeah, it's a, it looks like it would be, it'd be a, when I can talk, to be a platformer. And I love me platformers on the Mega Drive. So yeah, I'm quite happy about that. So you know this game, you have this game. Let me know what your thoughts are on it. Put it in the comment section. So we have Rolling Thunder. Uh, next game I got for Mega Drive is Biohazard Battle and this is a shoot em up um, again this one's got no instructions and it was for £15 um, I'm slowly getting into me shooting ups now 
I'm not very good at them. I will put it out there. I'm not very good at them. But um, I'm slowly getting into it. And I've seen this a couple of times. and never, again, never bought it. But while I was there, I was like, screw it. I'll pick it up. Uh, I think the cover on it's a bit groovy too. It's like a shift fighting some big lizard monster thing. So, uh, yeah. And it looks like most of the game is you're fighting lizard monsters. Like Darius with fighting fish, I suppose. But, um, yeah. Really happy to pick that one up and um, more than happy enough to dive in and see how I fare in this game. Uh, got two more games left. Uh, next one is Wizenless. Again, I see this all the time, um, either on eBay or through Gumtree or something. Well, not Gumtree. Gumtree's gonna be crap with retro games lately. I think everyone is just eBay in it. Um, um, yeah, and um, it's a Psygnosis game. So, you know, Psygnosis is a sign of quality when you're back in the Mega Drive days, even into the uh, PlayStation 1 days. But, uh, yeah, I don't know nothing about it. But I thought it's a definitely a title that's missing from my collection. And it was £15. And this one is complete in box. As we can see here, uh, for £15. Cover's a bit weird. It's like witches and wizards, I think, with rabbits. Uh, again know nothing about it going into it completely blind so if you guys know let me know but uh yeah whiz and liz right So last game I got from JC. Oh no, sorry, there's another one. It's a smaller one, so I just missed it. Um is DJ Boy on the Mega Drive. I never heard of this game before, and I think it's only in this last year that I've seen it pop up on eBay. Uh usually only cart only, and um some people picking her up themselves, and I thought I get it, you know. It sounds pretty cool. It's I don't know whether it's a good game or not, but DJ Boy sounds pretty cool, so we'll, we'll give it a whirl. Um, the graphics looks pretty okay on the back there, if you can see it. Again, this is one without instructions, but as you guys should know by now, I'm not too uh, bothered about that um, with Mega Drive games. As long as I've got the case and it's in some sort of good condition and the cart, I am absolutely fine with that. So uh, I'm actually looking forward to trying out DJ Boy and seeing how it plays. And the last game we got, and it's actually, this was I was about to leave the store, and I thought I'd go check out their Game Gear section because I have a fairly decent, I have a very good Game Gear uh, collection, so it's harder for me to find games that I'm missing from that collection now. So um, I did have a little look at the cabinet at the front. And I'll put a picture up there, and I did see double dragon and i was like i do not have double dragon for my uh, game gear so i had to get it so it is 15 pound and it is obviously just the cart in the um actual official game gear case and as we can see there it's actually lovely it's in lovely condition um yeah so i had to just get it because um 
I did, you know, I had an objective to get all the PAL Game Gear games at one point, and that's still there. It's just gone to the wayside a little bit. But um, yeah, happy to. I'm always happy to get a new Game Gear game that I haven't got. So um, I'm looking forward to see how Double Dragon uh, plays on the Game Gear. And guys, that's it. So I got, you know, I'll pick them all up if I can now. I got one Dreamcast game, uh, obviously Game Gear game, uh, and four Mega Drive games. So it is quite, you know, a birthday retro haul, and um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I just got to test these games and see how they play, because some I don't know, but Toy Commander's going to be good. Uh, what did you think of my retro pickups, uh is there anything good here? Do you know some of these games? Let me know. Put it down in the comment section. And guys, I will catch you next time.